now we're taking a live look from our kettle point camera it's actually a beautiful sunset right here how's the weather look for the next few days yeah sheena so we were seeing some uh, thunderstorm activity of our own here locally luckily nothing severe but especially in northern rhode island if you were out on the roads visibility was reduced pretty drastically with some heavy downpours moving through but now the sun is shining again in some spots where the rain was falling just about an hour ago here and with that we'll be looking at continual quieter conditions as we head towards the overnight and your Labor Day holiday on Monday. Overall, it's been a pretty good holiday weekend here outside of these blips this afternoon and evening. But again, conditions will continue to improve as we head towards the overnight. Your temperatures right now, though, still fairly mild out there. We're at 74 right now in Providence, out in Taunton at 75 and down at the coast, just slightly cooler at 73 right now in Narragansett. It's still very humid, though, out there with a cold front still well to our west. We'll stay humid for the rest of the late evening and overnight hours, but these conditions are expected to decrease with much lower dew points starting tomorrow on Monday and, con and continuing really through most of next week as well. So with that in mind, a stray shower is possible for the rest of the night tonight. That's going to lead way to much drier conditions overall as we head towards the pre-dawn hours and early Monday morning with a gorgeous Labor Day ahead. So if you have any plans tomorrow, all of that looks okay. Any outdoor activities look great, especially by the afternoon with increasing sunshine and that'll kind of kick off the trend of much cooler drier weather over the next several days feeling a little bit more like fall throughout the remainder of the work week starting tomorrow on Monday and continuing right on into the end of the work week Thursday and Friday with that your dew points again will stay high for the rest of this evening but then much cooler drastically drier rather as we head towards Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday with just a little bit of an uptick on Friday but still nothing oppressive satellite and radar you can see the thunderstorms we're seeing earlier now moving out. This is all associated with very humid and moist conditions across our area due to a cold front well to our west, which will keep things humid until this passes through our area, which will dry things out considerably. Down in the tropics, we've been keeping a close eye on a couple of areas of development here. This area has the highest chance of development in the next seven days, 40%. Also to the west, there is kind of a disturbance off of the coast of southeast Texas here, but this is not expected to strengthen into a tropical storm as that area of thunderstorms moves farther inland. Back here locally, as I mentioned, this cold front, which ahead of it, those very humid conditions are continuing. As this passes through, it'll be much drier and temperatures will start to drop with a little bit of a mild, start still to your Monday morning. Lots of clouds lingering around as this continues to pass offshore. But as it moves farther away to our east, it'll lead way to much sunnier conditions by the second half of the day. Again, a gorgeous afternoon, especially for your Labor Day. And those quiet conditions will continue with much cooler overnight temperatures tomorrow as well. So your Monday morning again, a cooler start will still be a little bit humid early with those clouds lingering on. But as we head towards the second half of the day, much drier, much less humid and a lot brighter as well with that sunshine. So let's take a look at that seven day forecast again. As we continue on through the rest of this evening, we'll continue to see these kind of humid conditions with a shower or two possible, but then starting tomorrow on Monday and then continuing on really through most of next week, we're looking pretty good. So good news there. I know we're both working tomorrow, so at least yes. we'll have some <laughs> sunshine to get through the day. Yeah, through the first half of the day, especially before we have to come in. But yeah, conditions by tomorrow morning should be much better. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful evening and a nice holiday weekend.